90% of beginners will never practice the simple trick that is keeping them from realizing their dreams of drawing from imagination. You don't want to be like that. And what is that? You want to simplify your mannequin. You want to simplify it so much that you can rotate it in your head. Look how I'm starting this drawing. I'm starting this drawing with boxes, literally boxes. And because I'm using boxes, I can rotate them. I can position them however I want. And you can see each side of the box, allowing you to visualize it in space. Whereas if you do what most people recommend and draw like the rib cage with an egg shape, it becomes very hard to figure out where the perspective is supposed to be. Whereas with the box is painfully clear. So you always start with the box. If not a box, start with a cylinder. Okay. I know it seems too simple, but just look what I did. I started with the box, then I soft erased. And then you start drawing more human anatomy on top of the boxes. This is what allows you to unchain yourself from photographs and drawing poses that you want to draw, characters that you want to draw. Use reference to figure out how to draw details, how to draw anatomy, not how to position a character, not how to pose the character. Okay. When you're doing these poses, you need to practice posing the ribcage as a box and the pelvis as a box. You need to do several poses over and over and over. And honestly, I just use lines for the arms and legs because they don't even really matter. As long as you get the pelvis and the rib cage correct, the arms and legs are secondary. I didn't detail here, but I'm using reference to add the detail. Okay. So I really want you to focus on starting with the boxes, okay? Once you get comfortable drawing the boxes, then you can move on. All right, I'm working on a video that is going to go more in depth, deep dive, where you can watch me draw in real time on how to do this on how to practice, on how to draw from boxes, any pose you want, and then slowly upgrade to more complex forms. But trust me on this, you have to start with boxes. I know it's boring, but you gotta start somewhere. Just think about it. Human body is super complicated, right? Can you think of a human body and all the anatomy? Can you rotate that in your head? Can you do that? I can maybe picture somebody. And then after a few seconds, I've, it gets just fuzzy and I can't re remember what I was even like picturing. So if I want to be able to position a pose anywhere in space, if I, from any angle, I need to simplify this as much as possible. And that is why you draw with boxes. Now there is a danger with drawing with boxes. And the danger is, you risk having really stiff lines. But at first, it's okay to have your stiff lines. 
All right. But once you've mastered positioning the boxes in the space, you need to then study the rhythm of the body and how the body adjusts to gravity, how it carries its weight. That is what's going to push life into your characters. You, at that point, you can start working towards not drawing rigid, stiff, lifeless characters. Okay. But until then, until then, draw off boxes and make me proud. Cause I know you can do it. I know it's hard. Look forward to my next video coming out where we can deep dive together and start drawing characters.